we're gonna unwrap today. Disclaimer, I'm not a professional about this, so if anything seems awkward or you might have a really different opinion about something, do your own way. Everyone has their own style of learning and everything like that. But just wanna throw that out there so no one comments below you suck. <laughs> if you wanna learn to wrap, I would say you have to know a few things. One, you need to have a pretty good, decent car wheel. I would say be comfortable with a side flip, um, just because of how you take off. And if you progress any further than that, make sure you can do at least a card, uh, card side. Those are those can be really helpful. Then you can easily throw a twist in there. And if you have a trampoline or any type of like uh, ledge wall or anything like that, you can pretty throw it up there pretty easily. But so I would definitely say start off with cart pulls. Make sure you have that really good because of a wrap. All it is is when you land out of the cartwheel, you just don't break down that foot. Wrap behind you, and it's, it's actually pretty easy to um, throw. Landing is a little bit difficult because you want to like kind of release your leg, especially if you want to do like a wrap pipe or anything out of it. You have to like make sure your legs are just far apart, or not far apart, just not locked. So I would say for like a side maybe. Just be, just be comfortable with taking off something off that cartwheel. At this point, you should pretty much have an, uh, a cart full or some type of full variation twist, just so you want to stand how to twist. So with this one, it's pretty easy. Like if you have a cart, if you have a cart full, you pretty much already set. All you have to do is miss this leg, wrap it around you, make sure you have a good takeoff with that leg, and your momentum will carry you over no matter what. Just have a strong cartwheel, strong core, set up, set, and everything like that. And it's pretty simple. So we'll do it one more time. So, when you take off and you're about to hit like that midpoint, I really like to emphasize get on that ball, ball your foot, strong takeoff. So, once you're here, momentum I want to say is already starting to twist. So, you want to have that strong takeoff, lots of momentum out of the cartwheel. That way, when you wrap her out and everything like that, you'll be able to spot the ground mostly the whole time. It's pretty, it's pretty scene trick. You don't, you don't really have to go blind during it, really. <coughs> Excuse me. And after that, it's pretty easy to spot your trick. It's easy to land and everything like that. And if you have flop, flop power like that one, you can combo it pretty damn easily. And last but not least, this is something that I just kind of do on the default now. I've been really focusing, trying to do these wraps, um, because don't know how I train ever so long. I rap, I uh, defaulted a hyper, so when I land, I always hook kick out of them for some reason. I don't understand why, but that one too, like another little variation of a thing. It's really simple. It's it's kind of wonky to get if you never done any kicks out of your tricks before. It was the first kick trick that I've learned a kick kick that I learned to do out of a trick. And after that you just you learn it for so long you kinda can default it, so it is. And there is a rap full hyper. I hope that really helped you guys with rap rap fulls at least, um, or help you progress with them or if gave you any tips and tricks or something you might be missing. Um, if you have any ideas or something else you want to see from any many of the group or anything, comment below. We're pretty much open to them. Any ideas? We have trampoline and like other various spots to train at that we can practice decent, uh, decently high grade tricks. So I hope this video helped you, or hope you at least liked the video. If not give it a thumbs up and everything like that. Subscribe, and we'll see you next time.